Now in this last part we're told that two jars of coffee are selected at random and we've got to find the probability that only one jar contains between 232 grams and W grams of coffee. And in the previous part we found that W was 235 grams. So how would I do something like this? Well in my mind I imagine a tree diagram something like this. I haven't filled it all in because it would just take too long but we've got our first jar of coffee and the second jar of coffee and when you select your first jar it will either contain between 232 grams and W grams in this case 235 grams with a probability of 0 0.20 and so therefore the probability that it doesn't contain um, or it's not in this interval is going to clearly be 0 0.80 and so this one would be 0.20 for the probability of between 232 and W. It's going to be 0.20, 0.80 when you're outside of that range, 0.20 when you're in the range, and 0.80 when you're out of that range. So can you see all we need then is this value and this value. Okay, we get in the range and then we don't get in the range. Or mutually exclusive event, we either don't get in the range, so we want that one, and we're in the range, that one. So we need these two routes through the tree diagram. So it's going to be, if we take the first route, that we're in the range, 0 0.20, multiplied by not in the range, 0 0.80, and then we just repeat it again. Obviously I could times this by 2 but I'll just put it as 0 0.80 times 0 0.20 as we come down through here. Work that out and what you've got is 0 0.32 or if you wanted it as an exact fraction it's 8 25ths up to you. Okay so I hope it's given you some idea then how we can go about doing this question. Alright?